All right, kicking off this video right where we left off on the last one. Uh, this is the third one of the giant video that I chopped into three pieces. Um, this one is mostly time lapse, guys, because I have to take the helmet apart and reassemble it many times. Um, yeah, so it's it's going to be just a lot of me working um, because I had limited time and I wanted to get things done, so it's easier for me to just set up the, the camera pointed at something and then just work <laughs> and then later turn it into a time lapse um, and I wanted to get it done so um, enjoy this uh, hopefully uh, it's not too boring I don't talk a whole lot so maybe you prefer that I don't know let's get started well it's, it's on there but uh, I don't have all the screws in there I just have the first two on each side put in but that's pretty cool, you know? Um, I don't think I'm gonna do any more of uh, the lower section. Um, I'm gonna get the, uh, the ram's horn section done first. Um, and the reason why that is, is because um, taking the ram's horn on and off is gonna be the biggest pain in the butt. So once I get all the holes done on those, if I get this first one done, then I can do the second one, then I can do the third one. Basically, I've already got the first two on the back. Um, already done so this part shouldn't move at all and I should be able to mark these out and get them uh, drilled and in place but I have to take the ram's horn piece off each time because I have to put one in put the screws in it tighten it down mark the next one take it all off drill put it all back on so <laughs> you get the uh, you get the impression there it's very time-consuming uh, which is why I'm having such a hard time getting this done. Not hard time getting it done, it's just I don't have time to do it. <laughs> um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the first hold now because I got a little bit of time to do it. Uh, hopefully I have enough time to do it and get it put back on uh, so I can mark the next one. Which will probably be in a day or two or whatever. I don't even remember the last, I think it's been a few days since I've worked on it at this point. That's the plan, enough. With the talking, I'm just gonna film the doing from here until I'm done. Unless something comes up, of course.
All right, I've got all the ram's horn holes drilled. I've not yet put it back on, it's still off. Um, one thing I've been doing is taping the threaded inserts into place, and that's only kind of works. Um, the tape isn't quite strong enough to really hold them in place, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a little super glue, uh, drop on the flange side of that, uh, should hold it in place pretty well. Um, so I'm gonna try that out, um, see how that works. I, super glue is not the strongest thing, you know, like structurally. So I might have to use something else at some point. But good enough for now, I'm gonna have to take all this stuff back off again when I paint, so um, it doesn't really matter, you know, if it doesn't hold it, I can get back in there. So it's not like I haven't done it several times now. So that's what I'm gonna do, put a little super glue on and hope that that works. And then I get to drill the rest of the holes for the, the main base shell for the helmet that's right back there. <laughs> um, which should go pretty quick, actually. Anyway, let's get to gluing. It's really coming together now. I just have three more holes on each side. I gotta drill holes for, um, and then the mohawk is attached officially. Um, and I can attach 
I don't know where I put it. Oh. I can actually affix this front block on there. That's pretty cool. But I might have to trim this up a little bit now that I see how it sits on here. I don't want it to be angled, but that's easy to do. Another cool thing, I finally figured out how to get these visors to snap into place. You really just kind of have to manhandle them um, once it's on. You, you want to try to get them in there as early as you can, but you can just kind of force them into place. But, you know, it wasn't even that smooth uh, when I, the, first, the helmet first came in. So I think they were, if I remember right, they were off the track then when they first came in. So now they're functional once again. That's pretty exciting. <laughs> yeah. But unfortunately, I have to take the mohawk off every single time I drill a hole because the bit for the, uh, the fastener side is bigger than the hole that is in the mohawk side so I can't just like drill through I mean I could but the hole wouldn't be big enough on the fastener side so and because I'm trying to be super precise and not have waviness you know like there's no waviness it's all laying down correct so that means I have to take it off every single time that's why I'm doing it that way uh, we're getting there all right, so next day, I got a minute. Uh, I'm gonna try to do another set of holes or two. Um, nice thing is I've got the ram's horn holes all done. So I don't have to take the ram's horn off for a while. I will definitely have to take it off when I have to paint the base again, but um, for now, I don't have to mess with it. I will have to take the mohawk every single time because um, we, we just gotta get our gaps down. So we're gonna do one, one, two, and then three just to get the spacing all exactly correct. And did I mark this already? No. So we're gonna mark it, take it all off, drill, repeat. Well, it looks like I've made a slight miscalculation here. Um, I made the mistake of using super glue, which should be fine, but it's not because it's a hard, brittle glue. It's not flexible at all. And I used that to put the fasteners in into the ram's horn. Well, surprise, surprise, they popped out. Um, and I kind of figured they would because when I was tightening them down, I could hear them cracking. So I was like, well, crap, that means all the bonds are breaking. So I think next time I'm going to use something like E6000 or Shugu or something like that um, to set these in. I didn't really want to leave these in permanent uh, for now. Like I mentioned before, I was like, you know, I'm not too worried if it pops out, but that sucks. I was hoping that that would work out and I wouldn't have to deal with this. Um, I still don't really necessarily have to deal with it now. It's just... I wish it wasn't a problem. Well, there goes another one. <laughs> um, I can. I don't have to take the ram's horn off again right now. I can go ahead and finish out these holes um, for the rear and get them kind of ready to go. And then I'll take the ram's horn off um, and kind of set those um, again with some E6000 or something.
right, so now the question is, do I take the ram's horn off and reaffix all these fasteners before seeing if these holes line up and doing the final, I think I should. I don't really want to take the ram's horn off, but I gotta get those fasteners in there. And half of them, well, almost half of them fell out. So I feel like something I gotta do anyway. Might as well be now. All right, I got a couple little things I gotta deal with. Um, this side has a bit of a gap, and it's not really a gap. Um, I cannot seem to tighten the screw any further. It just wants to spin on the inside, and there's, it's just you know smooth, so I don't can't get a grip on it uh, to stop it from spinning. So I think it's gotta be glued in place and like let set before I can tighten it down because it just will not thread down anymore. It just spins and spins and spins once. Once I can tighten it down, it'll it'll compress down. It'll be just fine. Um, similar issue on the Mohawk. I use the E6000 up here, or the Shugu, actually, this stuff right, right here. Um, didn't let it cure up before I started screwing into it, and they wanted to spin. So um, this guy is like a little bit looser than I want, just a hair. But I, I was my my thought process was I needed to get it tightened down that way it's as flush and flat as I can before the glue sets. Didn't think that it's not going to stop it from spinning, so that's my bad. Um, hopefully it'll be enough. If there's a couple of these, I got to pop out and redo and then reset them. No big deal. But yeah, it's awesome. Oh my god. And these work beautifully now. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. Um, besides the couple little adjustments I gotta deal with, um, all the screws are in, it's attached. I'm, I'm super pumped about this. I think it looks good. Um, still doesn't have an interior yet, but you know that's coming. That'll be the last step. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with the way this is turning out. I don't have any waviness. 
I just have this gap here because the screws are spinning. I mean, there's just a tiny hairline of it uh, more than I want. And then same thing down here because the screw um, or the fastener was spinning on the inside and I couldn't stop it. I'll work on that problem. Um, and I'm not going to take all this stuff off again right now just to do that. Um, uh, just to talk about what's coming up is paint and decals. Um, thing we got to think about here is there's decals that are supposed to go here. This is supposed to be flat and smooth and this piece isn't supposed to be there. So are we going to leave it like that? I know we're going to leave it in here because we're going to keep the visors working and we have to have that in order to do that. Um, so we're not going to fill this in but there are like decals that go here. And so I'm like, what do I do about that? So that's something to think about. If anybody's got ideas, let me know. But I was thinking just probably put the decals over it and then cut around it and make them have gaps in the middle of them. So um, that way we have the continuity. And then there's also like little things like um, up here, this slide block, this is a plastic that has a high amount of slip in it. Um, slip is a material they use to make plastic slide. Um, but it, you know, there's plastic on plastic it's sliding in, so that's, it's got slip in it. But that I don't think is going to, it's either that or it's nylon. I'm not exactly sure. Anyway, it's probably not going to take to being painted very well. And I kind of don't want to because it goes all the way around. You're going to see it on both sides. And it's going to look weird because it's translucent if it's painted on one side and not the other. Anyway, lots of little questions that have to be answered. Um, what to do about this piece back here. I know I'm going to trim it up. I'm going to probably have to make a filler panel back here and do something like that. And then I still got to attach the front piece, which shouldn't be too big a deal. The little block that goes on here, which is here. It'll probably need a little adjustment, but that's pretty dope. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'll probably be trying to work on this a little bit more. It's still really busy, so I only get like an hour at the most a day. Most of the time I don't even get that, so it's going to be slow progress, just so you know. It might be every other week. I was trying to do once a week, but it might be every other week to do something for this helmet because it is so time-consuming. Um, that being said, uh, I'll put some affiliate links in the description. If you click on it, it helps me out. Um, I'll have things like, you know, shugu and maybe some drill bits and a, some kicker and a super glue and epoxy and things like that. Check out the blog, propchopshop.com. I'm still trying to be ahead of the videos, so you can go there, get small updates, you know, a little bit more as they come. Um, I, try to, I try to do that as often as I can, but I I'll, often time that, that takes time too, so I don't have necessarily the time to do this and work on it and video and edit, you know, <laughs> it's a lot of stuff. Anyway, um, yeah, I'll see you guys.